there. Mm. I thought that today, sorry about that, what we would do <laughs> is review a Schaefer. Because I don't really review a lot of Schaefer's and that's because I don't particularly like them. And the reason for that is that I am an asshole. Well, maybe I'm not an asshole, but I just don't like, well, I don't, I just don't, I just typically don't like the designs. Completely idiosyncratic. Has nothing to do with Schaefer, has everything to do with me. But I contacted Jos, I said, my man, he said, my man, I said, my man, Schaefer, he said, sure, my man, it's in the mail. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka, there we go, Schaefer icon, here we are. This is the shiny chrome version, there are other colored versions. Uh, but I have the shiny chrome. Fascinating pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Pizzazz! Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the Schaefer. This is the icon and polished chrome. I mean, this is its box, but in it is, oh, that's a bit of glue. Uh, the icon polished chrome. 53 euros 72 cents it is polished chrome and it kind of harkens back to the history of schaefer with its art deco silhouette of the pen not the box as a military style clip like the balance uh, stainless steel nib i think it's fine a medium that you can get and and that's pretty much it so uh, let's talk about this box and i'll show you the pen and all that those features it has a very nice protective mechanism um, comes with a little booklet uh, like the, the, the use and care guide, uh, a black and a blue cartridge, which is a nice touch and also came with a converter, but that's what I put in the actual pen. I'll put this back together. And then let's look at, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Everything fell down from my windowsill and I do apologize. Everything is under control. I'm from the government, I'm here to help. Okay, here we have the Schaefer um, icon. Definitely very shiny. You can see parts of the camera, the, that's tripod bits, uh, and you might be able to see a red light somewhere if I hold this close. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? Um, it's shiny. Here we have the pen next to a Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, you can see they're almost the same size, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So, past the pen, on top, we have the finial, we have that military style wraparound clip, which actually works surprisingly well, very nice. You have the shape for white dot, and then this red line, which I really like, which returns here in the center band, we have black, red, black, I think that looks quite cool. At the back here, of the clip, we have the word Schaefer. I don't know if I can make it catch the light. There we go, Schaefer. And then we have a barrel that ever so slightly tapers down and then ends up solid metal, which I think looks really cool. This is not a little plastic piece, it's solid metal. The cap pops off and then we have this vintage style section, which has Schaefer, which actually looks fairly vintage, the way the, the font they used in red and then a semi-hooded nib, tiny nib, uh, fine in this case, uh, but it is a, uh, uh, it's a fairly nice writer, but it is definitely fine and quite feedbacky. As I said, it's very nice that it comes with a converter, which is what I used, and, uh, and that's, uh, that's pretty much all there's to it. So, let's see how it writes. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out, I'll zoom out a bit and show you. It posts very securely and very deeply. See that? Very nice poster. So here we have the Schaefer icon. If you forgive me, I won't put in polished chrome. This is the fine nib uh, and the ink is Mont Blanc Irish Green. <coughs> Sorry. It's definitely feedback as you write with it. To me, this is the kind of feedback that I kind of enjoy because it, it tells me I'm writing with a fountain pen and not with, say, a ballpoint. But, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be for everyone, I think. It's definitely not a buttery smooth nib, as they say. But, again, Fairly nice writer, and because of all the metal, solid. Not super wet. Line variation, 
as always very careful really not much this is a stiff nib reverse writing for those who enjoy such a thing is possible and turns this fine I would say into an extra fine and it seems to keep going it's not particularly scratchy so that is quite nice overall a very solid pen and one that looks a bit like a sports car or something which I think has a certain appeal um, one thing I forgot to point out in my likes and dislikes is it attracts fingerprints like a magnet because of the shiny chrome so that's something you may or may not like let's talk about likes and dislikes what do I like what do I not like about the Schaefer icon well there are some things that I really like I think the price is fair 53 euros and a little bit of pocket change I know it's not nothing um, but it is a completely metal pen um, at least the the I, I don't I think the section is plastic but I mean the the barrel the cap are metal so it's not all metal I know um, it comes with a converter very nice uh, which is not always the case um, especially at this price I think that is actually very cool the the clip works very well uh, the, the sort of semi hooded nib is not really my cup of tea but I will say I think it looks cool it has a somewhat different design and that of course that goes back to the history of Schaefer as I as I talked about before so I like that uh, I also love the way it posts this is a really deep post making for a solid feel in hand and that I think is very very nice I also like the kind of to me this is sort of like a race car formula one car type look shiny chrome black and red uh, it looks it looks uh, 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 spiffy let's put it that way which I which I quite like the section is comfortable I uh, when I saw it I wasn't sure about it but it it, it works to me it, it really works big enough for different size hands to hold on to it and it works definitely a very fine writer I, I will absolutely say that about it but hey it works and uh, and that's really what you what you want at the end of the day um, things I don't like about it so much I already mentioned the semi hooded nib not really my cup of tea but that's a very subjective thing some people love hooded nibs uh, that's fine just means there's something wrong with you uh, no, I'm just, I'm just joking um, again different people like different things fully understand that one thing I will say is an issue I have with hooded nibs and I don't know why but is that as I write they tend to roll on me and especially with such a round section they roll you really have to make sure it stays aligned properly I find that less of an issue with non hooded nibs maybe because I see the nib more I don't know exactly what causes that let me know in the comments if you've also found that or if I'm insane <laughs> you're insane I know okay that's it I hope this was useful a very kind thank you to Yoast for sending me this pen I appreciate it lending me this pen I appreciate it don't forget the 10% discount on uh, Apple Bomb website if you click the banner on my website that gives you 10% discount if you like this pen and that's pretty much it I hope this was useful thank you so much for watching I always appreciate it a lot catch you on the flip side